what I've got here is my $9.24 case feeder for my soon to be Dillon 650 reloading press. Um, I, as I'm sitting here figuring out my budget for what I'm going to be buying for the reloader, I figured a case feeder for $220 was not necessary as I could probably make one myself. 4 RPM motor, which is inside the housing there on the bottom of the bucket, uh, that came from some random junk store. It was 40 cents. Uh, $2.99 micro switch from Radio Shack. Uh, <laughs> an adapter in there that was $3.29. That was one of the most expensive parts. That was from Radio Shack. The junk store also had a 12 volt DC adapter, uh, power source, sorry, not an adapter. That was $3.75 and then a 45 cent on off switch. And uh, that all combined created $9.24. And then I just so happened to have a bunch of plastic laying around the house, some high density polyeth polyethylene, acrylic, and a little bit of glue and some screws. And here I've got myself a, a case feeder. It doesn't spin very fast. If I turn it on with nothing in it, you can see that it's all faster it goes. And it just spins until basically all it is it's really simple circuit is you just got your power coming in you got an on off switch an interrupter switch and then you got another interrupter switch in line with that which is this this micro switch as you can see it runs it runs right down into the where the case is will drop so what happens is this thing spins and it just keeps spinning until the cases line up in a tube which is on reloader i don't have one here the cases spin until the cases stack up and then once the cases stack up they hit that switch and it shuts off. So once you start reloading and pumping them out and the cases start falling, it'll keep feeding them in. And it's really simple. Really, really simple. If I were reloading, I'd just dump a whole bunch of pour it down in there. And if this went into my reloader, it would just allow me to keep feeding. As you can see, that they just tumble around, they hit the agitators, and they just grab and go. Every once in a while, one will get stuck up in here, but they always roll down. As you can see, this whole thing sits at a 45 degree angle, and that's so that the shells all fall to the bottom. It's really, really simple. And as you can see out here, they all fall down, they hit the funnel, and then they drop straight through. Now, if there was a, a, a case feeder tube, on the Dillon 650XL, it would sit right below this. Now let's say the case feed tube were to be full on the reloader. You have an interrupter switch here, this micro switch, so I'll just pretend that I'll stop one of these shells and pretend that the feed tube's full. It'll stop, it hits the switch as you can see, and that stops all the cases from spinning. Now if I just go ahead and let this case fall through, it'll start feeding them again. So once the tube were to fill up, theoretically, once the feed tube were to fill up, they would stop, they would stack on top of each other, and the feeder would stop. It's really that simple. Really simple. $9.24. Can't beat that. I really need a reloader.
And that's it.